everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a thank you card using products from Deck the Palms. This collection is available until the end of December. Okay, so I'm going to use the Tropical Deck the Palms Stamp and Thin Cut Set. I'm also going to use for all occasions. I'm going to use the thank you, but you could use any, any sentiment there. I'm going to use evergreen glitter paper. And this is some of the UV coated paper from Deck the Palms and then some of the pattern papers, okay? I'm also going to be using pattern number 27 from Make It From Your Heart Volume 5, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to cut this UV coated paper at five and a half by four and a quarter and that will be my base. And then I'm going to bring in this patterned paper, and this is going to be piece C, and that's cut at three by four and a quarter. So I'm just following the pattern. And then the next piece is the evergreen glitter paper, and that is piece B, so that's at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut couple of small slivers of this evergreen glitter paper, about an eighth of an inch. So it'll be about an eighth by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to use it to decorate the top of my card. And then I'm going to cut another eighth of an inch sliver and then cut that at about two and a quarter. And that's going to accent my thank you sentiment. Okay. And then I'll bring in the light side of avocado, and this is going to be piece A. So I'm going to cut this at three and three quarters by four and a quarter. Okay. So now I'm going to start trimming out the uh, triangle base of each of these. So the dimensions on the pattern for this piece C, you go one and three quarter inches down. So I'm ma just making a pencil tick mark. And then I'm going to make another tick mark in the center at the base at about two and an eighth. I'm just using the measurements on my verse mat. And then I'm just going to line the tick marks up in my trimmer and then trim that diagonal line. So I'm going to do that for each of these pieces, A, B, and C. So the next one is B, and I'm going to use the reverse side so that I can see my tick marks and make it in the center, and then I'm going to go two inches down on either side. And then I'm going to trim the diagonal lines right along those tick marks. It's a pretty pattern designed for this card, I think. You can use all kinds of interesting pattern papers. Okay, and then the avocado, that's piece A, and again, it's at two and an eighth in the center, and then two and a half inches down on each side to create my little triangular shape at the base. Trim those. Okay. That's ready to go. And then I'm going to bring in another piece of avocado to create my little banner. So that is cut at a half an inch. And I'm measuring my sentiment just to make sure I've got enough room for it. And I'm going to make it about I'm going to move it over just about a sixteenth of an inch, so it's a little bit bigger than um, a half an inch. And then also I'm going to make it a little bit longer than um, two inches, just to give me enough room. Okay, so now we're ready to start stamping. So I've got some scraps of white daisy and some of this avocado, so I'm going to stamp this palm frond in evergreen ink on avocado. I'm using the light side of avocado. And then I'm going to stamp thank you, also in evergreen. So 
for my sentiment. And then I'm going to stamp some of these flowers. Now I'm not sure how many I'm going to need, so I'm going to stamp two of the plumeria and then one of the hibiscus. And these have coordinating thin cuts to cut them out. So I'm stamping in black ink and then I'm going to color them in using tri-blend markers. So this is a super simple coloring, so I'm just going to leave it in. I'm using um, the citrus yellow and some of the light um, coral, and that's it. I'm not doing a lot of shading and blending because I want them to be uh, white flowers with some yellow accents. Okay, so. There it is, pretty easy. So now off screen, I've cut everything out using the coordinating thin cuts and we can start building the card. So I'm gonna take this base piece and put it down with Tombow Tape Runner. And I'm just gonna layer everything up according to the pattern. So then I'll take that piece A and lay that down. And then I'm erasing my little tick marks. And then B. And you just do everything flush with the top of the card. And then C. Now for this uh, pattern paper, I'm putting a lot of adhesive on it because um, you need a lot to be able to stick to that uh, glitter paper. Okay, so just use more than you usually would. And then I'm going to glue this thin strip of glitter paper at the top, I'm just using some of the Tombow Aqua Glue. And now I'm going to flag out or dovetail my uh, thank you sentiment. And you just snip in the middle and then take each corner to meet that snip. And I'm lining up this little sliver of evergreen glitter paper and just cutting along that same diagonal line so that it can accent my sentiment. So I'll pop the sentiment using some thin foam tape. And then I'll place that little sliver of evergreen glitter paper underneath it. And I'll attach it with some Tombow Aqua and just slide it under. Tiny little piece, but it really does make a difference to bring attention to your sentiment. And so now I'm going to lay out all of my little embellishments. And I decided to only use one of these little plumeria instead of two. I had enough going on up there. And then I'm just going to attach my flowers with some thin foam tape and also with Tombow tape runner. So they're on all different levels. I'll slide that little plumeria underneath. I think that's good. And now we can embellish our flowers a little bit more by adding some clear shimmer brush. So it has some sparkle and shine. It's hard to catch it on camera, but it really does make a difference to add all that glitter and shimmer. And if I had a, a lemonade shimmer brush, then I would use that as well. But I, it's on my wish list, so I'll be getting it soon. And then I'm going to add some of these bitty sparkles to the stamen of the hibiscus. And these are the um, acrylic shapes. For, they're the tropical pack for Deck the Palms. And I'm using a couple of these little plumerias, and I'm going to attach them with a glue dot. And you can color these acrylic shapes with your tri-blend markers. So I'm just going to add a little yellow and also a, a bitty uh, sparkle in the center. Okay, and there's my finished card. Pretty cute. So all these supplies are available in my online store. I'll make a list with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and then you can find all of my videos. 
and thanks for watching.